Huh? This working? All right, let me uh check this audio. How do I sound? volume a little bit so I can hear myself. I think I might be a little quiet, it sounds like. I'll turn that up a bit. How about now? Do I sound good right now? off my phone notifications all right I think that sounds pretty good let's uh, begin with this Nikita cough publishing I think oh my but Nikita Kriup oh Window to full screen with audio volume, okay. Help me buy milk. Well, okay. Return your name. My name is... Nope. Nope. There we go. I walked down the road to the store and rehearsed my speech. It's been out of... It's been so long since I've been out into the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering a store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in a game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? Hey man, whatever works. Silent game? Okay. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. 19th attempt, and I'm failing again. I bite my lip in frustration. So once again... Hello, can I get... That's a whole more word. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I? Look, I wish I hadn't said anything. Don't worry. Okay. Have you been walking to the phone, the pavement, and your right foot on the grass for a full minute now? What? My right foot is frozen in the air. How much? 50 steps on the pavement, 51 on the grass. You have to undo the previous step. Hehehe. <laughs> How do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I don't remember. I'm confused. This is like a kid with like anxiety, you know, CD, I guess. I'm ready to burst into tears. Like, here we go again. So, sit back, take a, sit back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute, what do you mean, step one? What then? But it's hardly the 52nd. Or wait, I'm going backwards, so then it's the 50th? Doesn't add up. Okay, okay, so if you take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Did you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You can sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so. Be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. <laughs> Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes. I carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense grass. Huh? At the end of the store, turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I? Oh, hello. Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. <sighs> Very surreal. Shouldn't have done that. There is not going to change his lines. You're in the risk of ending up in an endless loop. What 
What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how did he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Oh, okay. Hello. Well, that is pretty scary. Okay. Oh. I remember these games are called visual novels. By the way, the numbers are written there in full with letters. Our visual novels works in books, but the others are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. for it. <laughs> Took about two days before he nodded gently and put it in the catch register. He gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk and another bag. I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. Okay, fair enough getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? What if I tell you? But I'm really interested. The ratio of water to milk and the volume of Eric occupied me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best unless you want to drink more than to eat. Anyway, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body's been to every part of this path. Simple math. Uh huh. <laughs> and there's even the city plain, gently healed, so I count my mind every meter of the path I have walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, okay, watch out! Uh, a huge bear watches past me with a wild screech. It was a truck. Well, you're a girl. Okay. The road from the store is only the one interesting property. Just seen the most bizarre ways. When I'm in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn on, turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a crowd appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now, I can feel a cloud flu gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Have you ever treated that's all just in your head? That's not what that manual said at all. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. Let me check the Steam page for this game. I'm curious what it says about this. A sh it says, the Steam page is a short story about what sort of challenges everyday little things can be. Help the girl by milk be the first not to disappoint her. Uh-huh. Well then. Uh, 
there's a bundle it's in with some pretty cool looking games. Maybe I'll have to get that. I feel have nothing to do with it. Please just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please, no more. You have to accept the truth. No. It's the truth. No. No. <laughs> okay. You know what? What? This is my character in visual novel. I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. It could hurt your recovery. I don't care. Do you hear me? It was my hands in place a thought block. Okay. Well, well. This is some pretty wacky stuff. I have played this game before, but I think that was like the translation patch wasn't as good. So yeah. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed, haha. I realize that I'm going to create that the medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. You know what I'm talking about? Nah. I am honest with you, and I took the same from you, please. No. Please capitalize it, you're ruining the narrative. Okay. No. Well, I'm not really surprised. It's not- I'm not really like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it counts because a lot of effort not just not to distinguish between just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnoses. Let at least you see the one who sees me for who I am. Yo, I agree. If they made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this, this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my usual thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. It must seem crazy and weird to you, haha. -ha. Nah, nah. I like to see the world with eyes. Ever since I have something happened, all I see is red. Red blood everywhere. No, don't worry about me. I got used to it a long time ago. Admittedly, I'd even forgotten what other colors look like. Come on, haha. -ha. Those monsters in the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. I think that they, that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you wanted to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? Okay. I'm serious. Of course you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'd just talk to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you really th that what happened to me? Not really. I won't waste time. What do you see? I don't know. Not sure. Anyway, this is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. But you have a very difficult family. Just had a lot of problems I never, never would have thought. Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. That's my last memory, then a long gaff. Strange, very strange. Today's the first time I've ever been able to buy something and soar without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however, I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or oh my god, what will he think, haha. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. Okay. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. That's how I like it, haha. <laughs> Fair enough. Yet I've been so sad lately, I've been thinking more and more about what my life has become ever since my dad. Well, you know. The after day is the same thing. I tried so many medications, I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they keep help, help me keep me on my feet, I'm happy, haha. -ha. But you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much oh I didn't read that. Very rude of you. Oh no. I know if I was need to go home. Well, dear reader, shall I go? <laughs> oh. To my floor hang out over the railing. Being in action every day, like rituals, stop being afraid of heights altogether. It means to go the effects of medication finally wear off, so I just enjoy being. I just enjoy the blissful science. When I'm under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head. Mixing with the sounds of the world around me, they create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go into my apartment. Oh. Hello. 
did you bring the milk? Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Go to bed. Yes, Mom. Oh, goodbye. Well, I guess that's the end, huh? Well then. Apparently there's one more achievement I haven't gotten. Is there like an achievo guide? Oh my, that's a lot of... This is how you get all, all achievements. Okay, thank you. Did you bring milk? <laughs> uh, oh, what are you talking about? What came? Don't worry. You don't know how to do it. Come on. Milk bot. Oh, this is just the dialogue options. Not this time. I see. Alright. Well, there's a sequel. There's a sequel I have. This is time the milk is outside. Okay. Let's 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 see this game. Let me see the store page for this one. Dive into bizarre, Dimension in a Bizarre World once again and help the girl become a little happier. Okay. Hmm. What's this? This is a little cylinder for me. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, there we go. That's centered. English. Okay, I'll take care. Thank you for worrying. Save menu, okay. Oh, an animation. This, this is the events of the first game. That's not a bag. What do you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sick riffs, bruh. Oh, that was scary. That scared me. New game. Alright, 
So is this like a visual novel again, or oh. different type of game? Oh, hello. I'm walking to my room and trying not to look around. My full shadows dance around me here and there. They dash over all, they dash all over the walls and the ceiling. One of those shadows whistles past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control on track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm a bit, a bit of a hurry here. Mommy told me to go to bed. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. Ah ha ha, that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure that. Hmm. I break into a run and dash for the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around to the run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuer. Then I suddenly realize that I won't be able to stop in time. I've only got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, no, no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Hello. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. Hello, kitty. The cat just walked in. I stay back, nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? The bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on a shelf in a store or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk from my room through the narrow corridor. Oh, hello. Meet a for familiar formless creature at the door. It locks me in his clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling, I know it's useless, I just stay silent during a sick that stops me from moving. That's some crazy stuff. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw. Thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I start questioning into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature starts piecing my hands until my veins start bulging, and I keep, just keep staring into the black cavities where his eyes should be ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. The moment it says that, it's caused pierce my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of at least sprung sinews. But then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white villain appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time, but why? Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body. Paralyzing every single cell while my veins nervous heat up, almost pressing from that pressure. I try to scream, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. Trudon notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat, keeping the poisonous claws in my arm. Kill me, kill me. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. The bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint where I don't follow my memory right, so I can gather them all later. I need to remember, I need. Everything turns pitch bent, black in an instant. Huh. Say it, and I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it. What? Hello. To the cat. Oh, hello. 
I'm gonna use my room. I'm so tired of all those thoughts. Thankfully, it's looking comfy more in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from outside don't make me anxious at all. I want me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the need preparations. I wash my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. Just have to know desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. <laughs> it's the time in the last minute before I sleep or my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable, inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would crash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dream's always slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody fished them out of my head. One after another, one after another, until nothing was left. Now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. After finishing with me, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. And I only want to have a better look at it, just roll it between my fingers to chew on it. I'll do things for solve for just a bit more more time. It's covered in murky snake and cement film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? It turns out to be soft and squishy. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but not, not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, I don't even want to look at it. Gotta take your medicine. She will just scold me. Wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. Hmm. Hey. Hey, long time no see. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go, bullying me again. I'm even a little bit happy, not even the slightest bit. I'm pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No. You've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects were off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you. At all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. I can imagine how angry you are right now. Hehehe. <laughs> what made you so happy all of a sudden? Or... You am all beside myself. No! Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? Yeah. We'll see how long you can last. We'll see. Yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. At least I tried. Go wash your face, and we'll decide what to do with you. What's that? The background there. In front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to be distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me. Training not to drown on their giggling. But then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, throws her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared, two by two squared, a square is squared, a square pyramid squared, pyramidal structure square, cubed. Your middle structure hypercubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine, you can keep it gone blaming yourself, but don't ever do it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. Yeah, I should be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you actually know how challenging it was.
That way you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Whatever it was, it was your decision. Does it even matter? And what do you think? You can't be sure about anything, you don't take me seriously anyway. And why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at that time, but now I feel it in triple force. It hurts so bad. You know what to do. My mind still draws a terrible mind picture. It lumps a coagulated bud and transparent coat iron trolls on my esophagus. Scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I just shake my head violently. I don't care if I'm making me feel dizzy, it worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. So haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill in the air and catch it in my mouth. I lie on the floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the middle of the pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's being his head paused from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Do you want to talk about it? Now I've had enough of talking. What do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. You think the ceiling is meant to collapse and won't be today? Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. Carefully check thoughts that are yet to be fully formed in my head, and lay them down. Lay them out in the ceiling in an orderly rows. Now it's my part forward. I hope to see the whole picture. I switch them from one place to another. Pile them on top of each other. I scatter them around. At the end, I hit them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. Katie, what are you doing over there? She's climbing on the shelves. No, don't go in there. That's where all my stuff is. Katie. Bunch of stuff fell out. Get that later. Can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. You, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. <laughs> I don't even have time to blame them for my thoughts. They're fireflies now. Start whirling over the ceiling of their own cord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The walking comes with flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. Ripping it from the top of the lungs of Firefly Scatter. Good job, now start over. No way. Unsimple behavior make you, makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. That doesn't bother you? Should it? No? A lot of people act like this. Really? If there's nothing shameful about stepping at someone, there's if you have a reason for that. You did have a reason, didn't you? It'll surely get better, believe me. And now start over. 
Uh -huh. You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. I didn't mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Fine. Need to find them. There are too many places for creatures as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Sorry, it's so late already, but I can't go to bed now. Will you help me? Please tell me you will help me. Hold on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What are you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? She knew it better than anyone else. Yeah, that's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Can you tell me? Oh. I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Under her tail, all my eyelashes went after the eyes stop itching. Oh, don't do that. What have you done? Here, drink some milk. No! I think I just experienced death. I don't, don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was truly something. <laughs> Will you tell me or not? But what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Something said ring your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to go. My thoughts couldn't go to bed. My thoughts are fi hiding from me. Eh heh heh. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I love to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. If me keeping the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things just stay in their places and that's it. Why? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. And so we need to find a bunch of tiny things inside my objects without moving anything even an inch? Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. I was saying, becoming a visual novel character will help me achieve my goal. Now I'd become a point and click adventure game character. You know, those games have time. Most of you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. What about the things you use regularly? Do you freeze a session as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. You know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes, I start panicking as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're such a handful. But you're already proven that you're able to make decisions, so why not continue on that road? Come on, don't be so boring. I was just using you. You don't have to read the whole board and ask if Rebel's a reasonable decision too. Let's begin already. I go to the middle room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. Wowie. Wowie. <laughs> Carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly torture into the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come. Oh no. It flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. <laughs> it tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. I turn my eyes toward an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it, and a small towel is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's look somewhere else. I tilt my head backwards and I almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling, at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally, and I'm definitely not worried. Not even a little bit. Not even just a little bit. Split. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's, not, that's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no, you don't. Then act normal. What was this? Usual notebook pages, glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Yeah. I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky, broken lines. Ugly numbers. That's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. 
after looking in a business like manner, it takes off into a business like flight and ends up entering my business like year. Hey, let's continue searching. Hills. Look at the mound of hills, it makes me feel really dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I want to see if my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, come on. You've already fixed that. Yes, because you ordered me to. Things could have been much worse. Uh, is that an accusation? Of course not. It's what saved me. Well, that's reasonable. I have a deep sigh. Come closer and exit my end. Wow, it's warm. Crawl straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clear. Please clean it up. Oh. Hello. Oh, I can't look at that, huh? I get close to the waste and look inside it with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self respecting fire. Fly with hide and heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you here. Plants? Right, and six enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I guess. Go close to the flower shelf. I sniff around. Leaves smell like dust and cardboard. And <laughs> apparently there's a kitten on the floor playing with uh, my jeans. Hey, kitty. She ran away and got scared. Oh, grab my uh, little thing on the floor here. Here, you want to play with this? Guess not. Well, maybe she'll come back. The least smell of dust and cardboard and death. Those plants are long dead, right? I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. So you're right. Let's continue searching. Why don't you just fill them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? Clock. Time continues this unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric lot. I hear my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a look workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises you've been taught? I think so. He goes together, toes apart. Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at his hands for too long. At first, I feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face, and also, you used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think? What a mess, truly a mess. It was a mess, right? Mess. Why are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? Okay, do you see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching then. Oh, hello. Whoa. Kitty. Oh. <laughs> I moved my arm slightly. <laughs> He's freaking out. I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years. It's covered with a layer of dust. It's like my finger. Bizarre item. I fear it. <laughs> Hello. Oh my. She's infecting it. So it's 
silly little kitty. It's a long and boring story. Wonderful, tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. Well, my parents probably brought it here because I couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prevent me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. I tried to spend whole days in front of... <laughs> I like screen games from engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. Oh, she's playing with it. You had amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did before entering the web. Hmm? Imagine this. You're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything comfortable. Live for the comfortable living. Do you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagined. Alright, so you're a hamster that lives underground. Do you have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. Use this situation. You're a hamster that lives. Okay, got it. If you want to talk about something else. Yeah. No, I never heard that subject anyway. Someone digs you up from your hamster house and brings you to the pet store. Now you ha knew him as a cage. Looks way more comfortable and warm compared to the underground. No more. You have a lot of neighbors here. Their keys are ident identical to yours. And the other hamsters look identical to you, too. That means you were all the same. Apart from the fact that they were born at that shop. You ask, what does that indicate? And I'll tell you, nothing at all. I forgot what I was talking about. Gosh. Okay, let's start over. This time trying to avoid stupid hamster analogies. You know I'm not at fault here. So, I had a lot of friends online, 10 centuries of them impossible to count. Is it impossible though? I had actually 317 of them. Well, I guess nobody counted the exact number of hamsters when they walk into a pet shop. They don't get distracted. <laughs> Alright. My 317 friends, 68 were into gaming, just like me. 130 of them like drawing, just like me. The remaining 119 were into calculators and 3D modeling equally. <laughs> I'll say equally, I mean, it'd be nine and a half friends on each side. Alright, you can split numbers even no problem, but math doesn't work like that when it comes to friends. Major conundrum, right? And to the point. I knew, of course, that no real people would exist on the web. I also answered that my, all my friends died the moment I turned off my laptop. <laughs> but I still wasn't even a little bit worried. Why? You know one computer program's consist of? It's just a combination of numbers. Even my friends are also numbers. Isn't that amusing? Not really. Why do you call them your friends? I mean, everyone who shares my interest is my friend. I don't care whether they know about my existence or not. Anyway, as I was saying, every program has its own algorithm and purpose, like its, its mathematical formula. If you solve that formula, you'll be able to predict the program's behavior at any moment. The longer you speak, the less I follow. They need to follow me around, just listen. The symbol for the laptop screen ends up right in front of me. The only thing reflected is, and, it's, and it is my dim face. The web person just ran a picture and ran with finger letters. Words and actions from the web person are just executable code. Hey, let me know if you need a break. One day someone appeared. From that point on, my laptop was always on. There are no real people in web, but he was good at pretending. At some moment, I let him trick me. Hey, look. I think I was trying to say something. I can see that myself fully I knew what. It was like a cipher, don't you want to crack it? In changed my mind, I have nothing no desire to find out what it wants to say. As I was coming back to senses. Flies about the f things about the further courses of action and then flies up and dashes into my ear. To continue searching. <laughs> what about your story? You must be mad at me for interrupting you, I'm sorry. You do your thing right, I'll finish my story, maybe. Do you promise? I promise. And if you forget, then remind me with a good with a code word, for example. What code word? I'll think of one later. <laughs> and for now, let's keep searching for my fireflies. It's not gonna get out of here. Uh -huh. Alright, look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. Can you get less number of small legs marching inside the AC unit? Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can be friends with cockroaches, we better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You're the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? I'll pretend I do. <laughs> You have three radios. And what are those? Ah, uh, those. Those are the food of my best memories. But they're blank. 
I stared at them so intensely I burned them with my eyes. Eh. <laughs> now they're just covering. Like the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are you continuing the search or watch? Okay, we are. The umbrella emanates a faint sense of coolness. No wonder. It's the only thing that defends me against the, the thunder clouds that gather to my feeling. It's just a blessing that I can do without my help. Still, a firefly won't hide in a place like that. It will catch a cold and be un unable to fly. Alright. This is my sketchbook. Half its pages are blank, which means it'll still be good for a couple of years. You draw that, really? Why? Isn't that obvious? If we're on a page, we'll have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the stationary store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Why, what? Well, ask him, can't you inform security sentences? Ask him, don't play dumb, ask him on how you know what it's said. And says, who reports your emotion actions? You're also going to do one instead of another. And how would I decide which action to take? You're so dyslexic. And you're a tough case. You like empathy. Is that my fault? I get close to the sketchbook, st stepping over the wire as a sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool's missing two legs. Let's go out and look again. All the legs are looking are in place. Yeah, who knows? I mean, clearly Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Who Let's knows? not go there, okay? I stand up inside the sketchbook from inches away. These pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried in the previous page, the way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. Sudden gust of wind breaks into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. Open my eyes. The distinctive sound of the pages turning the echoes of the headache into my head. I know what's going to happen. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. I won't have to look through it a little longer. If I wait, open your eyes. No. It's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Hello. Hello, kitten. Fine. No drawing, nothing. The pages are still pure body. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? You're the part in here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you? Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. Look, look there. Firefly. Doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. Phew. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll ask after. I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, all the compartments are locked. You know, my scoop bag, worn down silly, is almost screaming of his own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into a sticky, mushy substance. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special. Mostly just all sorts of books. I'm taking all, all, all the pens and notebooks out of there. I'm not interested in anything else. You, you used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. All right, all right. What did you like most there? Hmm. The room's really bright, not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft, and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes. The others always skipped. They probably got told off so hard. You never graduated, though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad took me up earlier than usual. I think I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, the tasks were way too easy. Then we went, got into the car and went home. Mom read us there, we had dinner and went to our rooms. What happened then? I don't remember, and does it even matter? Okay. Good. Through the metal glints on the metal parts. So also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. But I just saw myself in the nick of time. If I move it even into the whole picture, I'll collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. 
The nun's memorizing the location of every item in Rio. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. Look at your feet. I guess this firefly is really tired. There you go, boy. Good job. This one is kind of sad. Wonder why. Doesn't matter. Why well, I said it's no longer alone. Let's continue searching. Light bulbs. Oh. Are you serious? What's wrong? Just think about it. Why would fireflies be attracted to light? I think they're quite self-sufficient already in that regard. But what if they purposely want to lower their self-esteem? Hmm. Head. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to spend, resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items and then close their eyes and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Huh? Generally, I like to refer myself to senses. I already went past. I way past midnight. Usually, I'd be sleeping in like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Continue searching. Did you find something inside? My thoughts don't have a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. Okay. Okay. Hello. You found a little firefly, it's amazing. I guess... I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going to back to the starting point. No changes at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? We'll go to the balcony, breathe in some air. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, let's stay here. Yeah. What are you gonna do? What's a silly question? I'm gonna sleep, of course. I think that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. I can imagine myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk, and yet... And yet? You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow, either. The day after tomorrow. Never ever. That's a goodbye, then? No, I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I'll burn out way too much to say. But a lot of stuff I want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No one be able to leave like this. Fine, what's the favor? I am... Um, I nervously scratch my wrists and bite my lower lip. You're afraid to tell me? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm also scared that something like ba bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Thank you. Stop it, I get it already. I still won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets, even though my electric, the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams won't just, won't, just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. Well, I stopped chewing on my cords. Cut that out. I know, it was a joke. Well, anyway, I wash my face, brush my teeth, and lie down, start demanding that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and I always look sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appeared in the most unexpected of places. Bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. Peoples. It was scary, you know. Then one day, I almost died. I just clapped in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. Then silhouettes, letters and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. I well deserved, I guess. Felt like it was caught on the biggest line in the world. Because it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. The silhouette fluttered in the eyes stayed there. 
stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow my wakes, peeping at me. And I'm, I'm kind of scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, I, so was too scared to tell me. Of course, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands. Forming complex shapes. You mean to tell you a bedtime story? Shush. Now, the strength are just here. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax, nobody can hear you. What do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. That was incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. But it's not meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. Fine. Close your eyes. You won't get it. I got an achievo. No, back here. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly little alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. You hear a voice coming from the sign. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Who are you? The boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. You are late. Oh, hello. Certainly I'm confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry. The boy nods satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. None of your business. And besides, will you tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here beside me. Have you told you anything? I know all there is to know for one. About what? They're obligated to escort me to the store. Like the cat just knocked something over. No way I'm doing that. Do you understand that refusal is futile? Why aren't you fooling yourself? I'm serious, I'm the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird. Can't lose your between happiness, sadness, and loudness of silence. He's a wacko and his name is stupid. Are we going or what? You can go, I need to, I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. I think I'm in frustration. I'll be with things to you, I don't like you. Instantly burst out laughing in reply. I do like you though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store went fine, if not for the fact that Trisco was walking way faster than me. The other thing he did, times he stopped, or really went backwards, setting the ground underneath his feet. And then the trip looked a lot, a lot longer than it should. After reaching the store, Zorthy were greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. Who are the bright idea didn't get their working hours in this way? They probably have special staff for this. Someone runs to change, runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Ah, uh, 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 and what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living cow to the brat, but a scary looking man said, Read behind the glass. He's holding a hard button sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go, what are you waiting for? You realize that we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I am. Um, maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up. But my good friend thinks friend freezes in place, looking at the customers right in the way I hurried towards them. Is he yours? I am. Um, if he's yours, please get him away from me. Yes, I'm sorry. He's also shaking. What was that? I got so scared, he said. Stresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You don't understand. Of course. I don't understand anything. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean, Sniff. Who, me? Boy doesn't move on, he just looks at his feet and sniffs the cat and tries over them. There's a bag of milk lying between them. No, that's mean. Do you 
like ice cream. No? Okay. You know. Seems like you're not helping me at all. I don't get it. Oh. Good night. Yeah, my Nikita Kriukov. Thanks, Nikita. It was a pretty cool game. Pretty cool couple of games. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty... I think I kind of got what was going on. It was like an allegory for OCD and anxiety and depression. That was some pretty wacky stuff. I'm not sure what that. I guess that was a dream at the end, though, with the kid. Pretty wacky stuff. Well, that's it for me, I guess. That was a pretty cool game, I thought. Uh, yeah. Thank you all to game and watch, and I'll see you all later.